Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, and I'm going to do my second to the last Myth May episode today. Kind of goes off what I talked about yesterday. Um, yesterday, we talked about fleas and how they pose health hazards. Today, I want to go over mice posing health hazards. Now, the reason that this video has been uh, actually on my mind for a while is because I know a person who had uh, an old Ford Escort. They were keeping hay inside their Escort in order to feed their cattle. They used it kind of like a truck. And the car got infested with mice. And then they had their daughter come to town who had very small children, all like, I think it's like three, three or four kids, all under the age of six. And they didn't have anything to ride in. So, so what he did was he took all the hay out of the escort and they started riding around in that. Um, I warned them and I said, look, you can't ride around in that vehicle with those small children because mice carry horrible diseases. Their, their urine and their fecal matter is, uh, you know, very disease ridden. You don't, you could, you could harm the, the children mainly. And uh, no, 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 mouse pee. We vacuumed up all the poop. Mouse pee doesn't hurt anything at all. So the myth is that mouse urine doesn't hurt humans. And that is absolutely not true. Now, I'm not going to go over every single disease that mice carry. They, they carry over 35 different diseases. But I will mention one. Now, this is the CDC's website. I have it pulled up on my tablet so I can read to you the disease. Hantavirus, all right? The, it's a disease that's directly transmitted from exposure to mouse urine and feces. Breathing in the dust that is contaminated with rodent urine or droppings is what causes it. Direct contact with rodents or their urine and droppings. So if you touch them, bite wounds, although this does not happen very frequently, you can get, you know, the hantavirus from being bit by a rodent. Um, now, I'm not going to go into what this disease does to you if you, if you ever get the hantavirus. But there are many, 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 many more. And I will link the CDC's website. I will also link a article that I wrote on my own website in the description below. You guys can go and take a look at it. But the main thing I wanted to say today was mouse urine is deadly. Do not expose yourself unintentionally, intentionally. Don't expose yourself to mouse pee. There's a reason you do not want to be around it. It kills people. So, hopefully, this has explained the myth that mouse urine is not toxic or not harmful to humans. Because it is. You guys have a really great day. If you've been enjoying my Myth May episodes, please leave a like below. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of people are wanting me to continue this everyday kind of, you know, episodes of this and that and the other, but it's a lot on me. I, I tried this new thing for the month of May and, and giving you guys a little tidbit every single day. It's an awful lot, especially if you get sick. Like I've been sick for about a week now with the flu. Um, I'm doing the best I can to do these videos and pump them out on time for you guys. Uh, but it's kind of difficult for me. I might do the next one I do after Myth May. It's probably going to be a little bit longer, maybe eight to ten minutes long, uh, explaining a couple things that I've, I've come across in the last month or so that I just don't have time to do in a Myth May episode. But you guys have a really great day. Share me around. Like me on YouTube and everything. And I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow for your last episode. Thanks a lot. Bye.